this next demo is going to go over how to make uh, not not moving platforms, but moving elevators. Things that are going to go up and down. Um, these could be also just obstructions that block out things. So um, really, you can kind of think about this any way you want. Um, you could go side to side, up or down, but uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty easy. Um, but you definitely need the code uh, off the School G website. Um, so the first thing we're going to do here, and I already have one made, so you can kind of see what this is going to look like. If I hit play, you can watch it right here. Um, I have a couple of things going on. I have two moving um, platforms, and then I have a moving elevator. So uh, just to kind of know what, you, what we're about to build. Um, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to go and go again up to my hierarchy, create an empty object, and we want to call this obstruction slash elevator now I don't think this is important like you can call this you know obstruction elevator 2 and that, that won't really uh, be a problem uh, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a 3 I'm sorry uh, before we do that uh, we're gonna go to obstruction elevator we're gonna actually add a component and we're gonna go to physics and add rigid body but we're gonna turn off use gravity okay. uh, next thing we're gonna do is go create 3d object and we're gonna create another cube okay and this cube I'm just gonna go ahead and place I'm gonna put it on this side this time and uh, go ahead and just drag it out so I mean this is really just a test anyway but you know, so you can kind of see what we're working with here uh, again a lot of this is experimentation so if you don't like something change it you know if you want something else to happen it's not doing what you wanted to do, you know. Get kind of crazy with it and see what you what you can do. Look at some more code. All right, so here's my platform right there. Okay, now that's my cube. I'm gonna call that. Um, let's see what I called it before. I'm gonna call that elevator two, I guess. Okay, and then on elevator two, I'm gonna add a rigid body. So I'm gonna go to add component physics, and then rigid body. I'm gonna turn off gravity and turn on is kinematic. Okay, and then go ahead and save your stuff. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get a new code. So that code is, um, let's see, it is elevator controller. So you want to drag that into your scripts folder. You see I have it right here, elevator controller. All right. Um, so we did make an empty object. We have our elevator 2. And once again, we're going to drag that elevator 2 and make that apparent, uh, the obstruction elevator 2 is a parent of elevator 2. So... Uh, then I'm going to go get my elevator controller. I'm going to drop that onto obstruction elevator 2. All right. If I click on it, you'll see here's my stuff uh, for that script. So things I can do, change the speed. All right, so speed, let's go, I think, you know, 0.5 is a good place to start. Um, for upper, let's go, so kind of like what I think is where you're at, you can either, you can tell it to go up, down, side to side. Um, so I'm going to go on a y-axis, up and down. And I'm going to say, all right, I want that to go up 4, and I want it to go down uh negative six okay and let's hit save and let's go ahead and test it all right now you can see that thing's moving pretty fast so maybe 0.25 is not good so i'm gonna go 0 0.05 save all right there we go a little bit more control right and it's doing its thing okay kind of cool all right well let's see what happens what if we change this to the x-axis hit save let's see Right? And now we're working with another platform that's going side to side. Okay, kind of cool. And you can see these things can run into each other. It's not going to be a problem. But uh, if your ball goes on top of it, it'll stop. Okay, so um, and I'll show you. You can kind of see what that looks like. I have this one. It's kind of going crazy. Um, but it'll actually bounce it up and down. So, you know, that could be a good or bad thing depending on how you want to use that. All right, kind of cool. So, uh, and that's how to add an elevator to your game.